What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Kid Taj. Uh, we got a trade to talk about. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and idea for a video down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. So I got a suggestion um, on my last video. I believe yesterday's video got a suggestion about this. So I wanted me to talk about the Portland Denver trade. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's funny because, um, you know, I've been quoted on my channel talking about how there are no trades every year. There are so many more trade rumors than there are trades. When I say that, I usually mean like about stars. Like you hear about superstars in trade rumors all the time. Carmelo Anthony, DeMarcus Cousins, Jimmy Butler. Um, I think there's there were some trade rumors around Paul George earlier in the season. Um there are more, you know, we, there are stars across the league that are in trade rumors. Um, and to me, it's like, I don't really care because I don't think that you're going to get a package deal for, you know, a player. You know, it's not, it's not easy to come across something like that. It's hard to really, you know, come to, come to terms on an equal deal because usually, um, you know, one team's trying to finesse the other team. And when you're trading someone with such high value, it's like, it's a big decision. It's a huge decision. It's a lot of thinking that goes into that. So that's why I say that, you know, for these more minor players, um, you know, it's it's not as hard to envision a trade. However, it's still you still hear trade rumors about so many players in the league that don't get traded. Anyway, you know, we had that Kyle Korver trade earlier. Then we had the Hibbert um, and what's his name? Oh, what is his name? Hibbert and Spencer Hawes for Miles Plumlee on the Bucks. And then I think uh, Mo Williams got traded and someone I don't know. Look, it, there's been a few trades now. Not very relevant trades, but you know, we had some Birdman not in Cleveland anymore. I don't even know where he went. Anyway, we're going to be talking about a big trade, pretty important, just be, you know, in terms of the future of these respective franchises. So let me just lay it out for you guys. The Denver Nuggets traded Yusuf Nurkic and a first round pick to the Portland Trailblazers for Mason Plumley. As you guys may know, should know, Yusuf Nurkic, a center for the Nuggets, previously now on the Blazers, Mason Plumley, starting center for the Blazers, now a Denver Nugget. Um, so I'm gonna evaluate this. Who wins this trade? We'll get to that. So for me, it's kind of weird that the Denver Nuggets are getting rid of, you know, a guy in Yusuf Nurkic who's very young. I mean, this is a player that he was drafted, I believe it was 2014, was it? Yeah, I think it was the 2014 draft. So he's only been been in the NBA. This is his second or third year. I think it was 2014. Second, yeah, second or third year for Yusuf Nurkic in the NBA this season. He's shown some signs of promise, but then again, you know, there's a high chance that he really doesn't develop into anything more than he already is. A lot of times the players in the NBA, you know, you got to wait the first one or two years to, for them to show any signs. And if they don't show signs of growth over the first two or three years, then they're probably not going to turn into that star that you thought they might be. Yusuf Nurkic had that star potential in his first season, but I don't really think it's there anymore. Um, he hasn't really grown a lot from that. Um, he's had some injury problems, but you know, for me, I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm saying, well, you know, the Denver Nuggets, they have their center of the future, their superstar center of the future um, in Nikola Jokic. Um, this guy is incredibly underrated. He was on the bench to start the year, I think. But, you know, he's back in the starting lineup. Um, and apparently, you know, the, since he's been moved back into that starting lineup or something like that, um, I think they're, they've had like the best offense in the league or something. Their offense has been the best since a certain time when, you know, he was very significant to that team. Nikola Jokic has been incredible, and he's obviously the building block for this Denver Nuggets team. He's obviously the best player on the team. He's obviously the guy that they're going to build around um, in the future. That being said, Yusuf Nurkic and y Nikola Jokic, they're not compatible. You know, you can't play both of those guys at the same time, really, okay? They're, they're guys that are centers. They're meant to be centers. Neither one is really a power forward type, especially Yusuf Nurkic. And that's why they're saying, okay, well, we don't need this guy anymore because we can get good value from a guy like this. We don't want to have this guy as our backup. You trade him, you get rid of him. Um, and I'm it's, it's weird to me that the Nuggets then pick up another center. And Mason Plumlee isn't even a guy that can really play power forward. I mean, he's tall, he's pretty slow. He can pass well for a big man. Um, but he can't stretch the floor really. Um, he's not mobile enough to really 
guard guys on the perimeter. I mean, I, I don't think he, he's just not that quick. He's not a power forward to me. And, you know, if, if I'm the Denver Nuggets and I'm getting rid of Yusuf Nurkic and a first round pick, that's also something interesting because the Nuggets, you guys know, they're in the eight seed right now. They might make the playoffs this year. They have a good shot at the eight seed. Um, if they do or they don't make the playoffs, they're getting a mid first round draft pick. They're giving that away and Yusuf Nurkic, who's already a mid first round draft pick for Mason Plumley. What is Mason Plumley going to bring to your team? Do you, what are your future plans with Mason Plumley? You already have Yusuf Nurkic, or excuse me, you already have Nikola Jokic. Um, what do you? Is he your backup? You're not starting him. I don't think. Are you going to trade him? Are you going to send him? So, like, I, I don't understand this. What are they going to do with him? I hope that their plan wasn't to start him at power forward because I feel like the Nuggets, they have Yusuf Nurkic on the trade block. They could have easily gotten somebody, you know, like a guard or a forward or something. And they could have packaged someone else that was in trade rumors like Wilson Chandler. That's a guy that, you know, we've been hearing a lot about him being on the move. Um... You know, you, I don't really think, I think they settled. I mean, Mason Plumley, and you got rid of a first round pick. I don't know. To me, I think the Blazers totally win this trade. First of all, Yusuf Nurkic is younger than Mason Plumley, although both of them are pretty young. Um, Mason Plumley is more athletic, but Yusuf Nurkic, um, you know, I think he's got more potential to be good in the league. Um, it's funny though, I don't, I don't really like Yusuf Nurkic on this Portland Trail Blazers team. I don't, I don't like it at all. I mean, really, the Portland Trailblazers need defense. Um, I guess Mason Plumlee just wasn't cutting it for them. Um, but what is Yusuf Nurkic going to bring to the table that Mason Plumlee didn't? I mean, y Yusuf Nurkic is a guy that you got to give touches to. If you want him to be effective, he's a guy you got to give the ball to down low and he'll do his thing. Um, he's like a, he's like a post up, he's like a Boogie Cousins mold type player. Why are you acquiring him? You don't need another you don't need another scoring option. Okay, Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, um, these guys are your ball handlers, they're your scorers. You don't need another guy. I mean, you don't want to be taking the ball out of their hands because those are that's how you're gonna run your offense. Like you what you need is you need stars that can do more than score. You need guys that can play defense on the perimeter, you need guys that can, you know, block shots at the rim and rebound the basketball you need like a deandre jordan type player too i mean like that that's pretty much what i was thinking um everybody every team can use a deandre jordan by the way deandre jordan is like one of the most low-key like underrated players in the league just because he can do so many he's like he doesn't score but he does so much for you um anyway like i don't understand like this trade is very confusing to me from both sides um, I guess they're banking on potential or both sides banking on potential. I mean, I guess I'm saying Portland wins this trade because they got the pick. I mean, really, Yosef, Yusuf Nurkic, okay, maybe Mason Plumlee wasn't that good for the Blazers in the first place. So they got Yusuf Nurkic, who probably won't be that good for them either. They can maybe try to develop him. I guess that's what they're doing. Um, Mason Plumlee, I, I, look, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I, I, this is not, this is not like I, I don't understand this trade. Can someone please explain this to me? Why did either team make this trade? Um, the Nuggets. I don't know what they're trying to do. I think they're building around Nikola Jokic. This isn't like they're gonna. They're, they might be in the playoffs this year. And I mean, like one of these teams is probably gonna be in the playoffs. It's gonna be either the Nuggets or the Blazers to get the eight seed, right? Um, but like both of these teams should be trying to build around their stars, and the Nuggets should be trying to get more draft picks to build around. Jokic, but they just traded their okay i don't know guys i don't know how what how how's mason Plumlee gonna help the nuggets what is he gonna do for this team use of nurkic on the blazers doesn't really make sense to me either um it's a small trade though i guess maybe i'm overthinking this because you know these guys aren't that relevant um but i don't know what's going through the minds of these general managers um anyway that's gonna do it for this video i I don't know. I, I want an explanation, guys. I want you guys to, you know, let me know what you think about this trade in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.